Hi, I'm Gary Fitzgerald. Um, today I'm going to speak about, or tonight I'm going to speak about, um, the module LI411 Um, what we had to do during the module, um, what I did in the module, and what I didn't do in the module, and why. Um, the module is language and technology. Basically, we are kind of um, discussing and evaluating, reflecting on how we use technology to enhance our language learning. Um, the module at the start seemed pretty pointless, um, but towards the end, like the last few weeks, I've actually seen the point of it. Um, we were assigned a blog, um, or else to engage the module through um, social networking like Facebook or Twitter. Um, but well, I I started with a blog and I think I did four or five, and suddenly I was like, "What am I doing this for? Um, how is it going to help me um, improve my language skills?" Because I'm doing the course of Pi languages, and I'm like, "How is this like helping me?" Um, back then I was like, I had four four blogs done, and I was like. Oh, I just felt against it. Um, but now that I look back on that, um, I feel like I kind of made the wrong decision and just let it go too late, unfortunately. Um, we had to do, we had a choice of two essays, or two essays out of three options to do for a module, which consisted of 3,000 words. And I think maybe the word count when I was looking at the word count, like freaked me out, freaked me out, and freaked a load of my classmates out. Um, three thousand words and three thousand words, six thousand words, and like we could do a blog on top of that as well. Um, we we're kind of like ah, all screaming, and like it was like it was kind of a rebellion against the um the module for a while in the course. We were like ah, why are you doing this? Um, but yeah, I can see the point now. Um. The essays were due week 10 and week 13, I think. Yeah, week 13. Yeah, I got one in last week. Um, so, um, when I was forced to engage the module, I really, really found it beneficial. Um, the first essay I did was corpus, um, on corpus linguistics and the use of a concordancer and how it can actually help us um, learn more about the language we we're studying. Um, concordancer is like a piece of software which sorts um, text and can kind of like, it helps you analyze text and one can learn like use of phrases from it because once something's ordered you can like look for something like say in French um, while I'm doing my essays I find it difficult to find like ways to discuss my, to express myself like to start off my sentence like um new new discuterons um to say stuff like um oh we will discuss um and stuff like that i didn't really know much phrases for that and the corporate uh, accordance thing that they really improved my ways of finding like information in a different way totally to like grammar books and stuff um, but before doing that essay I, I just like I couldn't see the point in engaging with the module and then I was like what the heck um, it's a bit late now and I was like oh I like missed like six or seven blogs and I was like oh like cause I was going to do them weekly or something I missed like seven or eight and I was like, oh well, it's like 5% down the drain anyway, so um, I decided to let it go, like some stupid college students do, I guess, yeah, so um, so yeah, corporate and concordance can definitely helped me, and I should probably, sh like I could have wrote loads of blogs about my like finding day in, day out, like using the concordance or like, while doing my research, like, but I just didn't. 
Um, maybe the second thing I want to discuss then is, um, the first part of the module was like based on, um, using computer software to help you, um, improve your language learning. Um, we discussed call websites like computer assisted language learning, well, web enhanced language learning. Um, and like I kind of liked to use the phone applications thing as well. Um, phone apps are kind of like cool. Um, because you can bring them around and like use them anywhere. For example, here, but like my favorite, my favorite, my favorite like um app is on my phone and stuff. If you can see, I might come up here. Oh, there we are. It's like called Look Lab. Basically, it's like a a flashcard kind of like system thing. And um, we just had to kind of the essay that we did for that was kind of like really um, our lecturer gave us a real broad um kind of choice. I kind of felt like I could do my well, not my own essay, but like I decided to evaluate call well and phone applications and put them together and kind of compare and contrast to what um they did um and how it helps me learn and which I thought found most efficient. Um, and it actually really helped me to reflect on what I had done. And therefore I can kind of see why, why blogging could have been actually beneficial. Because it would have improved my, my, my writing. Um, and it's actually very good to reflect on what, how you learn. Because Like it's it's easier to find what you need what you actually need to do once you once you know like once you know how to do it. Um so yeah, I think yeah. I'm actually kind of upset that I didn't blog or vlog. So this is much easier for me I think. Even though my speech is probably a bit like um crazy. My first one, okay. And my last one, okay. Um, so what else do I think about the module? Can I say anything more? Hmm. My favourite part was definitely the corporate recording or something. I mean, I can see myself like definitely using that in the future. Machine translation was the final thing, but I hadn't really... We missed a few tutorials and I kind of felt stressed about like doing that essay, but it was very interesting. Um, the lectures were very interesting and stuff, but I just find it hard to, I was like, I just needed to get the, an essay done because I had so much other stuff.